when there's scarcity, there's, it's harder for people to see the bigger picture and to see that things will eventually are and actually will be okay and are actually okay. So when there's scarcity, what you should do then is appreciate what you have and rally. But people have the tendency to retreat and be afraid. I recently went to a tour of this fantastic school um, here in the county, Edison, and they have all these different programs. And one of the, the pressures that the children were talking about is this pressure to get into the right school and the pressure to take the right class and get the right job. Um, so I thought that was really fascinating. And they are so worried about their future, they're missing kind of what's happening right now and where am I going to land and how am I going to get this job. And I think where that could come back around to Interfaith Works is if they get out there and get that job and somehow it falls apart, did they learn the other life skills to help them be prepared in case it falls apart? Because that's when they actually may end up calling us. It's really important for youth to understand that sometimes with the luck, with bad luck, good luck, you could be someone living in the shelter or you could be someone supporting the shelter. But what they need to really realize, I think what they don't get, is that it's really as simple as I lost my job, then I lost my health insurance, and then I have these bills and that's why I'm homeless. Not because I was strung out in drugs or I beat someone up. You know, there's these real life circumstances that moves you from one side of the table where you're serving food or receiving food. And so I think that's the thing that children need to learn and know so that they would be interested and willing to advocate for those who are receiving the food or be interested and willing to be one of those people who would serve the food. I think bringing different people from different faith backgrounds together to provide the similar services or the same services is a really unique opportunity for people to actually find out what similarities they have. So I was saying before, so maybe you have Betsy's Shalom Temple and you have um, Fred's Baptist Church and that week they're serving meals together. So they're able to actually bond over some food and find out that we're all people working for the greater good and how simple is it to provide spaghetti together. And so you actually have the opportunity to have these unique conversations and gather together as one community and really learn from each other and appreciate each other. So I think that's what's unique and helpful. And I think in terms of for the greater community, for the Washington area, or even for the nation, I think trying to bring people out of their little box to see that there's this big, beautiful world that we could all work together, um, it's an opportunity for us to all figure out what beauty we each have to share with each other.